Hi everybody, Jennifer McCreeth, September 16, 2015. Been a while since I shot a video, uh, but uh, something I want to get off my chest here. I've been watching the three major parties, trying, as well as our Premier, interestingly enough, try to convince Newfoundland voters that they should send uh, MPs to Ottawa who will be sitting on the government side. And of course, they're all going to tell you that they think they're the only party that's going to win the election. Therefore, you should vote for their candidate. Well, let's take a look at the past 22 years, shall we, Newfoundland? We've elected, who have we elected as Prime Minister? We've had Stephen Harper. We've had Paul Martin. We've had Jean Chrétien. And before that, we had Kip Campbell. Before that, you have to go way back to Brian Mulroney. When was the last time that Newfoundland had a legitimate cabinet minister make a major impact. I think it's got to be John Crosby, and that, again, that goes back more than 22 years. Has it helped Newfoundland that we had uh, Peter Panachoué in, in the cabinet? I would argue no. How about during the Paul Martin and Chrétien years? Uh, did having a, at least one Liberal MP help Newfoundland? I think most people would agree, at least the ones I'm talking to at the doors, that no, that has not helped at all. No, I'm hearing that none of the major parties care about Newfoundland, know much about us, and people are also saying, well, look, they aren't even coming here to campaign. Finally, there's been an announcement that two out of the three major party leaders will actually come to St. John's for one event. Folks, bottom line, we don't know what's going to happen on Election Day. The polls... A lot of them are saying it's going to be a close race. Don't vote for who you think is going to win. Vote for the best candidate for your riding. Vote for somebody who you know will represent you. We've seen, again, four parties. I'll throw the Greens in there along with the other three making these mega campaign promises. Billion dollars here, billion dollars there. Money, money, money. No plan to pay for it saying, oh no, there won't be any tax increases, there won't be any cuts to services, but yeah, we, we, we hear that all the time. Why don't you send Jennifer McCreeth Avalon, send me to Ottawa. I have proven experience working with others. Twelve years ago, or was it thirteen? Twelve years ago, I had a job with the Ontario government. I was part of a working group and we were actually able to get all 10 provinces and the feds to sit together on a conference call discussing collaborative work. You send me to Avalon, Ottawa, doesn't matter who the Prime Minister is, doesn't matter who's in cabinet, doesn't matter if it's a minority or a majority, I will knock on their doors, I will sit down with them and talk and I will make sure they understand what the issues are. There will be no party line for me to tote. I will do what's best for my citizens and my constituents. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that the main parties are trying to play on fears and try to mislead people. I'll be honest. Strength and democracy, we're a great political party, but we're not going to form the next government. We're not running enough candidates to win the election. We are in it because we want to send representatives. We want to keep the government, whoever that may be, accountable. Specifically accountable to the people that vote us in. The regions, the rural areas, the youth, the women, all these groups that are always forgotten, thrown under the bus, ignored. Avalon, I think it's time. You want real change? Every party's saying, we, uh, we represent change. But realistically, they're all the status quo. They're all about party leaders from the mainland, party, par partisan stances, party discipline. They're going to be forced to vote with whatever the party in Ottawa, the head office folks say, I'm the only option here that will not do that. You send a strength and democracy candidate to Ottawa, you will have a true voice in Ottawa in direct unimpeded access to the House of Commons. So take advantage of this opportunity, Avalon. Give me that opportunity. You won't regret it. I'm Jennifer McCreeth.